Tesla full self-driving folds the mirrors on narrow streets and struggles a little bit for uh, test drivers when making tight left turn. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next Tesla story. Kim Paquet, who has become famous sharing Tesla high quality, wonderful videos showing the good and the bad of uh, full cell test driving beta, shared a new video showing how mirrors fold on uh, narrow roads. This is what she wrote. Uh, she wrote. F um, where full self uh, driving beta is still struggling for me are the tight left turns and stopping far back from line at the red sign or stop sign and she also noticed a new behavior saying mirrors folded in automatically on very narrow one-way street with parallel parked cars let's take a look at her video first and then we'll discuss it in um, uh, showing uh, sharing comments Folding in the mirrors because it thinks it doesn't have space. Okay. It's going very slow here. I mean, I have it set below the speed limit, but it's going even slower. Now, look how far back it's stopping. Jeez. Oh, As you saw, a very interesting video. Her videos are some of the best ones I have seen compared to other people. She is excellent at this, testing full self-driving Tesla and educating us all. Her FSD beta from Tesla testing videos are simple and nice. What I particularly like is that she makes clips approaching each scenario while others are stuck with the idea of showing the car with full self-driving engaged for the longest duration. So Kim, we really appreciate your videos. Uh, one of her tweets follower, Twitter followers asked her, did you get another update for the folding mirror? To this, Kim replied saying, I am not sure what update it came, with what update it came. It was my first time in that scenario since testing Tesla FSD. Friends, if you have test driven Tesla full self driving in narrow roads with cars closed, have you ever noticed your uh, mirrors folding if you are in test drive program? Please let us know in the comment section below. It will be very interesting to see if your uh, FSD also does the same if you are in the FSD program. Now, if you carefully watch the video, you probably saw parked cars with folded mirrors as well. That's a really skinny street with a challenge for Tesla full self-driving for sure. Actually, it's, it's a huge challenge for sure. Speaking of Tesla's mirror folding, the car's narrow street reaction is molding the fears of legacy brands, one person said, uh, of legacy brands of vehicles with lackluster software division. One Reddit user wrote on um, under a comment uh, under this post where this discussion was going saying, I honestly don't think it needed to fold the mirror on that street, though there were no cars on the right side of the street. So just hanging toward the right would have given plenty of clearance. I can't imagine a human driver folding the mirror in there if it was an option. It seems like it doesn't work all that well if you live somewhere with a lot of very tight left turns, whereas it does a lot better on big white streets with turn signal and like. So in some parts of the country, this could probably drive you almost everywhere, while in other parts of the country, you will be intervening at the time. Yes, there will be a lot of intervening for now because this is not a 
uh, fully level five self-driving. It's still beta and there is going to be lots of improvements. And um, the second left turn, if you noticed in the video, was very interesting. It looks like for a moment when you are turning it screws up, remembering the location of the parked truck. Definitely some kinks to be worked out by Tesla with the FSD uh, with full self-driving beta, but I assume it stopped uh, that far back because of the blind corner for detected PEDs are around the truck. The strategy is probably stop before parked vehicles. I don't know. Uh, now, also note that she is very careful in testing the uh, Tesla full self-driving beta. She's just testing her FSD Tesla in very tough conditions, so Tesla can improve it. I'm sure she expects it to need correction in these areas, but it takes very careful watch on the controls and occasionally will scare you a little bit. This is a natural part of the beta testing it. Um, people on Reddit are also saying cities like this are exactly why Tesla chose a generic learning solution instead of trying to uh, teach a system how to drive on every road in the world. Uh, making a self-driving system that only works on wide roads in Arizona is like making a train drive itself in terms of complexity and utility. If you notice her streets compared to the others that have the full self-driving beta seem to be the hardest to drive. It's much more like a European style road layout. Um, another of Kim's followers on Twitter named Francesco thanks her saying thank you for sharing real content and for training the NN in the proper way. Uh, too many cool videos where beta almost fails but drivers don't take control just to take uh, the shot. The beta driver shouldn't train it perfectly otherwise it will get worse rather than better. So we need to see videos like this where we can see the challenges of Tesla and uh, where Tesla can do some works and improvement. Also, look how she, is inter she intervenes. And in my opinion, that's the safe testing of Tesla full self-drive, um, uh, which Tesla wants to see from its FSD beta testers. Tesla has numerously emphasized the safety and uh, carefulness of uh, full self-driving beta testers. When you intervene, you don't think you had to, you just think you had to. I think that will happen a lot. This is a great video which shows the good of the Tesla FSD and that a lot of improvements needed on the surround perception of distances. I think yet I also think these situations are solvable and Tesla engineers will work on this. The neural net needs to learn that cars could come from either side of a T intersection and should move the appropriate amount forward to be able to look while still being safe from the cross. Uh, the beautiful thing about rolling out uh, automation to the consumer fleet is that people are very keenly motivated not to mess up their own car. An engineer being paid to monitor a fleet car will probably act totally differently. This is why I appreciate this video and videos like this very much. Kim, thank you for these Tesla full self-driving test videos. We really appreciate them. Uh, the clips you are providing are great. They're very interesting to watch. See, it's very interesting to see the good and not so good with this Tesla FSD beta. Thanks for all the footage and keep up the good words. Thank you everyone. This is Armin Harayan from talknews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the notification bell so you don't miss my next Tesla story. Have a wonderful rest of the day. God bless you and see you soon in our next uh, video. Peace be with all of you.